been seeing that, you know, go back to TikTok. You're only a content creator. You're only a public speaker. Why are you trying to be a beauty queen? But the thing is, a beauty queen is not one thing. If you look at all the other girls, they are lawyers, architects, doctors. Some of them, you know, serve their organizations. Beauty queens are human beings and they're multifaceted, like so many colorful stories behind them. And I feel like I'm just I'm just like any one of them. You know, it just so happened that my career is content creation. And I think it's not a bad thing because being in the public eye and having to create content, having to tell stories and share my life so openly, I feel like that has trained a part of me to become a beauty queen in some way. Because, you know, being a beauty queen, you are somebody who is making statements, telling stories, speaking up. And... If you know how to handle yourself in front of your camera, whether it's, you know, your phone camera for TikTok or if it's your YouTube channel, I think in some ways that experience can also help me. So again, just like what I said earlier about the person who told me I wasn't independent enough because I came back home, I'm also just doing the same approach. I don't need to explain myself to everybody. They can just see who I am through these interviews. They can just see how I perform in the tasks and let them decide what they think about me. But at the end of the day, I am just a yin who happens to join Miss Universe Philippines and I will do my best.